Hi, this is People, Places, and Things, and in History. This is Carol Church Gardner coming out with you with a brand new one. Yes, and Monday was Friday. I made a blooper, guys. you got to keep your eye on it. Today I'm talking about <laughs> aliens. What kind of aliens? The aliens that comes down and takes you, takes you where? To outer space. But you can't take them to our leaders because we have no, like, finesse leaders. All right, here's a few cases. Bar Barney and Betty Hill. Betty Hill has actually been abducted by aliens. Yes, they kind of go... They were driving along in their car, and they seen this big light. Apparently, the UFO goes... Zapped them up. And they were missing time, but she said she actually talked to one of the, the aliens while they were doing experiments and all that they were gone for quite a while then they go and she says they actually told her where she's from where they're from and she goes into the experiments that they did to her and her and her husband and they actually did a pregnancy test and all that and she actually went into detail these are ones you really want to look at because we don't know. Okay, and then imagine sitting down at your table and eating supper or whatever, and you see lights outside. This happened to one family. It was actually a documentary that they had actually did a movie on, and it's about Lake Wooden County. And it's supposed to be in New York State, but they actually had an alien reduction. But it didn't take one family member. It took the whole family. And yes, and it shows the attack on the movie how the aliens actually got them. And no, to this day, they have never actually found out where the aliens or these people are. To this day, it's a missing persons for the whole family. Another one is Fourth Kind. This one was supposed to be a documentary on where? In the Alaskas. The Alaskan people were all being taken by aliens. The aliens come and took them and did exciting experiments. They took a lot of the whole families when they would go. And actually, on the movie, the people ends up killing themselves and killing family members because they can't deal with the alien abductions. They can't deal with all the criticism. So here's a couple accounts. And then... It crit Charles Hickerson and Calvin Parker Jr. was on a fishing trip in 1973. On one of the Mississippi rivers, they said they had a bonfire. They said they could see it really well where they were fishing. And they said they did it so they could find where their spot was, where their campsite was. When they got back, they said it only seemed like an hour. And they said there was no more fire. They said it was like... The next day, it was like dead cold fire. This is a couple of accounts that we do not know about. And actually, guys, when they have alien deductions, that means you're missing time. Missing time not only for an hour or ten minutes or whatever. This is like hours and hours. So, guys, when these guys are saying they're missing hours, they mean like two days, a day, or whatever. And some of these people are not lucky, and neither are animals, because there's a mutilation that they do to the bodies, and then they just poof, dump you wherever. And then the one with the fire in the sky, the guy was supposed to be with a whole bunch of logging people, and all of a sudden, <laughs> they came, and they actually abducted one of the guys. This has been going on for years, and it's also, I got news for you on the caves. Cave Paintings has aliens actually visiting back in cavemen time. And there was another one where a woman said she was actually... <laughs> floating out the window. In Manhattan, of all places, where busy Manhattan's going, there was tons of people reporting a woman was flying out of her window into this bright light, and then she was zipped up into, soaked up into the, the actual spaceship, and they took off. And this has been happening, like, several times. Not kidding you guys, these are actually alien abductions. Another one was that, the, if you ever remember, that the actual astronauts had caught one on the actual space station, yes. Our space station that the cosmonauts and all that share, 
They had reported that there was one next to the earth, and they took pictures of it, and I remember that being on TV where actually aliens was actually looking at the astronauts. Another one is, if you ever remember Project Blue Book, this one is supposed to be whatever alien abductions has happened, especially in our armed forces or government-wise, they actually have Project Blue Buck app, but a lot of times they smear where Project, like whatever is very important, they just smear it away so we cannot read what is actually the encounters. And yes, and even one of the astronauts that actually went to the moon, they had reported at one time they had seen a spaceship on their spaceship next to theirs or whatever. And they say back in the caveman days, there was caveman paintings of actual aliens. Another one that actually has alien is a lot of the Renaissance people had believed in different um, alien, like alien ships. So you should know that maybe probably years ago, they probably had some alien reductions then too. And another one is if you if you ever know Native American stories, one of the Native American stories is there's a star child. The star child is missing. And they made a mother, a father, and it was in the Hopis, and they're missing their star child. Is and the theory is also the Egyptians has their own thing of the flying saucers. So, yes, they have to have been here, and it's all around. So, yes, there must have been some alien abduction somewhere back in the day. And, yes, they even reported the Aborigines in Australia. They actually have some cave paintings, too, of alien, the alien flying ships. So, you know, and I've heard where some people actually get abducted, like... The animal mutilations, and it's usually higher up our keys, and they're just brought down, and they're tore apart, and they don't know what happened to them. You know, so you probably do know that they probably screw up somewhere, because our scientists, we gotta find out what is going on. But you know, sometimes your scientists like mad scientists. And that's usually the ones that usually probably tears you apart. Like... They have actually the ancient things that has actually went on for years, like ancient discovery on the Discovery Channel or History Channel, you know, and people has, like, said that they had seen things. Millions of people see these, but they don't come forth because they actually think we're going to pick on them. And that's like if you see something that's not real, people don't understand you do get picked on. Okay, so these are a few incidences that I have heard of. And we actually have our own encounters with some alien things. Uh, like you would see strange things in the sky that wasn't really going normal-like. They would go erratically and then they would stop short, zoom backwards erratically. And there was nothing at that time that anything that we knew could go like that, any plane or anything... So, yes, even out here in the country, you'll see strange things. That's why now, anymore, I don't look at the sky, guys, because I'm afraid that this government's going to say, I'm, um, you know, and do test on me. Another thing is, if you ever remember Men in Black, the Men in Black, it's in the, you know, on the movies. But, you know, actually, in real life, some people has reported they have seen the men in black in real life. They wear the glasses, they wear the dark suits, just like that. There's a secret, they say. So why is the government keeping this all secret? Who knows, maybe the aliens did something to them. So guys, these were a few incidents that maybe we would like to know why the aliens is actually here, why the United States does it, and maybe Russia and all that maybe can help out with the cosmonauts. You know, we really want to know if you get a picture of a UFO or you have your own UFO, you know, experience. You don't want to name names. 
you know, put a comment below that, hey, thumbs up, I have something for you. And maybe I could get you to do it in secret. Okay, guys? So hit a like. Hit a share. Make sure you share this video and keep sharing and sharing and sharing because I want it to go viral. We want to tell the United States. We want to see our UFO experiences. And Jesse Ventura, thank you for bringing some out. I love you, dear. And, you know, hit a share. Hit a like. Maybe he'll find it. And make sure you make a comment below because I'd love to hear your comments. Okay, here you go, guys. See you next time.